Good evening. Welcome, parents. Welcome to the Donellan Back to School Night, online virtual style. My name is Keith Boyle. My bio sheet tells you that I am the English 1 teacher, I am the English 1 honors teacher, and I am the English 2 teacher. I attended the University of Scranton, where I received a Bachelor of Arts degree in English in 1977. Many years later, I returned to college where I received a Master of Arts instruction, uh, excuse me, Master of Arts degree in instruction and curriculum from Kane University in 2001. As far as I know, I am the only teacher working in the Denellan School District who has taught at John P. Faber, where I was a third grade teacher at the beginning of my career in 97 through 2000. And then I moved up to Lincoln Middle School where I taught seventh and eighth grade from the years 2000 to 2002. And since that time, Right to the present day, I have been in Dunellen High School. Boyle K at DunellenSchools.org is where you can find me if you need to contact me for any reason. Please use email rather than a phone call. It's more efficient for me and hopefully for you. What I would like to do today is give you an overview of the English 2 course. English 2 concerns itself exclusively with American literature. The course focuses on reading and communicating orally and in writing about selected pieces of literature from colonial times to the present. Students are encouraged throughout the course to take notes based on teacher commentary and student discussion. This will better prepare them for the college experience. A concentration on the major facets of secondary education is emphasized. Reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Students will hone their skills in each of these components by completing reading assignments and being able to discuss them in an intelligent manner. Also, they will be expected to write about the subject matter in critical and analytical fashion. Listening and speaking skills will be demonstrated in the classroom through students' abilities to take notes based on classroom discussion and through intellectual discourse, question and answer periods, and the like. Writing is a critical component in this course. Students will, re will be required to write both short and long pieces germane to the literature and or other appropriate topics. They will utilize skills taught in the middle school and in the requisite high school understanding writing course. Representative literature includes Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God, a sermon by Jonathan Edwards, which we are presently working on. Upcoming will be the play The Crucible by Arthur Miller which takes a look at the Salem witch trials and the associated McCarthy hearings of the 1950s for which he wrote the crucible. The declaration, Declar I'll try that again. The declaration of independence, which is the birth certificate of our nation is studied in this class. It's not just a history course, or excuse me, a, a, an item for a history course. It is literature as well. Self-reliance by Ralph Waldo Emerson, the mask of the red death, by the classic Edgar Allan Poe. Some of the novels that we will be looking at, The Great Gatsby, my favorite novel of all time by F. Scott Fitzgerald. A Lesson Before Dying by Ernest Gaines, The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. And we also conclude the year with The Death of a Salesman, a play also by Arthur Miller. The grading system is as follows. Grades are comprised of results on assignments based on the material covered as well as the demonstration of skills learned up to the present grade level. Grading, grades includes quizzes, tests, essays, and homework. Class participation is expected from all students, and grades can be positively or negatively affected by this participation. As far as discipline goes, whether we're online or live in person in the classroom, eventually, classroom management is duly incumbent on the behavior of both teacher and student. Students are expected to behave in a manner that is conducive to a successful educational environment. Students' respect for each other is imperative. When this fails, disciplinary action will be taken. If the occurrence is severe or if misbehavior is recurrent, parents will be notified. A good barometer of this, folks, is if you don't hear from me, things are going well, very simply. As every student at DHS has been issued a Chromebook, the use of such is an everyday occurrence. Therefore, students must realize the importance of bringing a fully charged Chromebook to class every day. Being that they're in their own homes, they can plug in right where they are. Sometimes that's a little different in school here, 
Um, when we get back to being live and in person in school, please make sure the Chromebooks are charged on a daily basis. Again, if you need to speak with me or contact me, rather, please contact me at boylek at denellenschools.org, my email address. I hope you have a pleasant evening. Thank you for listening to me, everyone, as I conclude all my classes. Peace and love. Thank you. Good night.